Hello, and welcome to Certified Cybersecurity Technician class. My name is Eric Reed, and I will be your instructor for this course. Now, a little bit on the CCT program, uh, the EC Council course catalog in general are excellent courses with a ton of information. And the, you, on the average, for a five-day course with EC Council, you get about a course and a half to two courses <laughs> from other vendors. So there's a lot of information they pack into these five-day offerings. And we're going to talk a little bit about how to approach this volume of information. Uh, Eric's strategy for success, a recipe for su your success for approaching uh, the CCT course and really any, cal any EC Council course, catalog course in general, because they are so comprehensive. All right, the CCT program is an entry level security program covering the fundamental concepts of cybersecurity required to perform core security functions. This is a collage of all sorts of different areas of cybersecurity, uh, extremely holistic, extremely comprehensive. So we touch on pretty much anything in cybersecurity to a degree. Um, some of these concepts we address in greater detail in a specialized course, things like forensics or ethical hacking or penetration testing, network defense, and so forth. So I'll be making references to the appropriate courses for more information on the various learning objectives and points as we go through the courseware. All right, EC Council courses, a lot of information, a lot of bang for your buck, but it can also be a little bit intimidating just based on the sheer volume of information. Uh, this course, uh, for instance, has 1,389 slides. In the unabridged version, that's a lot of information. So what I'll typically do is recommend that the students take a multi-pass approach. Your first pass through the material is with me, and I'm gonna take you through the lecture, I'm gonna take you through what I like to call Eric's director's cut version of the slides, which is gonna build a overview foundational framework that your second and third passes through the material, you can start appending more detail. There's a couple of different objectives here. There's the academic knowledge, there's the practical application of that academic knowledge, and there's the lab exercises, and there's exam preparation. So um, we touch on a lot of different areas of security. There's always going to be more to dig into in greater detail, but if you try to get too much detail in you know, on that first pass, your brain loads up, you kind of shut down, and it becomes a little bit overwhelming. So my recommendation is that you view the course in its entirety. You listen to all the lectures, Eric's director's cut version of the slides, and complete all the lab exercises. Once you've done that, you've now got a idea of the you know, expanse of the course, what it entails, what it covers, you've built your framework. Now those areas that you wanna dig a little bit deeper into, revisit, redo the labs so you become more familiar and proficient with the tools and so you're comfortable with their usage. So this is definitely not a one pass deal and I do recommend you read the courseware from cover to cover to get the maximum benefit from the courseware. There's a lot of great information in the CCD courseware. All right, so the course is comprised of 22 modules. I'm not a big fan of just reading off slide content, so I won't belabor the point and list out each individual uh, uh, module title, but we've got 22 modules to cover. And normally, this class would be delivered like most IT certification classes in a five-day format. So I like to keep my recorded deliveries in pretty much the same format as my live deliveries, so then the student can set an expectation of their initial time investment to complete the class for the first pass. So um, you will, in a five-day time frame, have enough time to view the videos in the lecture, complete the labs, and you can actually even decide, you know, I'm going to take a week off. I'm going to do Monday through Friday from 8 to 4, and you can expect to complete the course videos, the lecture, the labs, all within a five-day time frame. Now, normally it's, again, about an eight to four. Your timings may vary uh, depending on lab exercises, if you're redoing anything, but um, this would typically fit into a five-day window. Uh, your lab environment is very robust. This is actually one of the more complete lab environments we have in the catalog. You have a PFSense firewall, a Windows 10 admin machine, a Security Onion admin machine, a Windows Server 2019 machine, a 2016 web server, an Android, Ubuntu Linux, and a Parrot security 
which you're going to use as your second attacker machine. So lots of great lab exercises, about 25 hours uh, of labs. Really, really great stuff. All right, well, welcome to the CCT class. Um, I know you're going to enjoy it. We've got a lot of information for you. So good to have you, and we'll see you back here in just a few minutes for Module 1.